Hello everybody, it's Eric from Chimden and Bernie again, and today we are talking about time and why we can trust the Bible. What is time? That's a question we have to ask to before we even start. What is time? We know from science that time is the fourth dimension and it's tied to space. That's why uh, many scientists call it space time because the dimensions are fused. It's three spatial dimensions, length, width, and height, married with time. Time being a physical dimension of itself. And science says time is physical. It can be stretched and warped. Uh, we know that from black holes, that a minute near a black hole could actually be a hundred years on another planet like planet Earth. But space and time, well, time at least is relative. And this is proven by Albert Einstein, that time is relative. We know that the Bible already stated this. In the Bible, there are verses that say, 1,000 years is the day to the Lord, and the day to the Lord is 1,000 years. So God himself has already told us that time is relative. He told us about this uh, universe that he had created. But we know that time is a fourth dimension, and it's actually physical. It's not linear and unchangeable. It is a very different thing than what most people are used to. So how does time look for God? We have to understand how time looks for God. We know that time to us looks linear, but even science is telling us that's somewhat of an illusion. That the past and the present and the future are somewhat simultaneous, meaning they've all happened at once and they're all happening now. However, you can try to understand that it might be humanly impossible because of the dimensions we live in. But we know from the geometry of eternity, where God inhabits eternity, he is outside of space and time, which means he is outside of the past and the present and the future. He's kind of like a helicopter who enters the third dimension, enters an extra dimension, leaves the road, goes up into the air, which cars cannot do. And all of a sudden, a traffic helicopter can see what's behind your car, where you're currently at, and what traffic lies ahead. Because that's because they've accessed a higher dimension, right? And God is living in higher dimensions than us, just like the spiritual beings are. But God inhabits eternity, which means he's outside of time, which means he's outside of the past, the present, and the future. You can see it all at once at the same time. So how does time work? Well, one way I like to explain uh, to you how time works is to think of the universe like one long movie. And when you think of a movie, you think about how the past, the present, and the future are already done when you start watching the film. Nobody really watches the film and watches it go from beginning to end. It's usually produced and it's done with the beginning and the end all done, the script written, and it's all produced into your hand at once. When you stream a movie, the beginning and the end are already equally done in equally history. But when you're watching the film, it appears linear, just like it did for the characters who are acting in those scenes. It appeared as if there was a past and a present and the future had not shown up yet. But we know, just like when you get that movie when you start watching it, that this universe, the Bible says, that the beginning and the end are simultaneous. They all happened already. That the future is as certain as the past from God's eyes. To us, it's an illusion and linear, just like when we watch a movie. But we know that the end is already as certain as the beginning of that movie and that nothing will change, that everything's already been done because from time standpoint in the film, uh, it has all happened simultaneously when you're outside of it like we are. So to us in this world, there is a past and a present and the future hasn't happened for us yet from our perspective. But from God's perspective, he sees it all at once and can predict the future. And this is why the Bible is so cool when you understand this, that predicting the future would be possible if you're outside the domain of space and time where you can see the past, the present, and the future all at once. So why can we trust the Bible? Well, now that we know that how time works, It'll help you understand why we can trust the Bible to be 100% true and to be God's word. Because God in eternity can see the past, the present, and the future all at once. To us, the future is unknown, but to God, it is known just like history is to us. Nobody inside of time can predict the future alone, but God can do this because he's outside time as we discussed. And he does this frequently in his word, in the Bible. This is how God authenticates his word to us, by telling us the future before it happens. The Bible was written by God, and I know this because God is authenticated with prophecy. Humankind, no man could have written this book, written any of these books of the 66 books, and known the future that would happen in detail unless God had told him, a being from outside of our space and time domain. And this shows us that he can tell us things before they happen. So when he does this, we know that we can trust everything else he has told us because he's always been accurate. 
And the Bible proves that is 100% true through prophecy. The Bible proved Cyrus to come by name from Persia, King Josiah, Jesus Christ himself, even the return of Israel as a nation in 1948. All these things were prophesied. There's many other prophecies in the Bible that'll show you that God has been authenticating his word. He's been sending us his word and authenticating that it is truly from him by inspiring human beings to write this. But he's told us the future as if it were the past. And because God has authenticated the Bible through prophecy, we can know that Jesus Christ is the Messiah we all need. He was told about long ago that we were all sinners, and that we would need somebody. We'd need a lamb to come and die for us. And Jesus Christ was that spotless lamb, the man who did not sin. He was both man and God. And he's the Messiah we all need. And it was spoken of in the Bible, and that's the whole message. That's all that God's trying to tell us. And he's authenticating his message with prophecy because he's outside of time. When you understand that, this is why you know you can trust the Bible and that Jesus Christ came to save you. Now, just to recap, Remember that time is a physical dimension, just like space is. Just like you can stretch rubber band, you can also stretch time with excessive forces. Also know that God is outside of time. It can see the past, the present, and the future all at once. Just like a traffic helicopter can tell you the traffic that lies ahead with accuracy. Even though you're stuck in that traffic, God can do that for you because he's outside of time. Remember that Bible prophecy is God's way of proving that the Bible is true. God has authenticated his word by sending us prophecies. If I told you what was going to happen in your life days ahead before they happened, months ahead before it happened, and it happened with accuracy, you would know I knew something that you didn't, and you would trust it. And this is why we trust God's word. Remember that God has truly authenticated his word to us with prophecy, and we can trust it to be 100% true, and we can know that we need Jesus Christ as our Savior to have eternal life. Thank you again, everybody, for watching. I am Eric, and until next time, keep your lamps trimmed and burning. Don't forget to like, to subscribe, and to share if you like this video. God bless you, everybody. Almost over. Almost over. Almost over.